Hey, good evening, everybody. This is Steven from um, Familia Inc. Um, this video is in reference to Craigslist charging five dollars uh, an ad, a posting, a um, uh, people call it different. I call it putting ads online, putting ads on Craigslist. Let's say, but um, let's say today. Today's the fifteenth. Today is the day that um, that Craigslist started charging. Um, in the service area, the service section, which has been free, shit, I, I've been using Craigslist since 2005, and it's always been free until today. Now, there's some advantages and disadvantages. Me, myself, I kind of like it. I kind of, uh, I can't complain. Craigslist over the so many years has put, has helped me and when I tell you, uh, I've never been ashamed to say that Craigslist has been my my biggest. Because of Craigslist, I've blown up. I um, I went self-employed in 2005, and I was started. Uh, should I say I started out with one truck? Where in 2018, and I got like a small little fleet. I'm not bragging. Uh, I'm not trying to be cocky. Um, all I'm trying to make is, I notice today, uh, I don't know, it's 1133 now, but nobody, <laughs> nobody posted today. Um, I'm looking at the labor and moving section, um, and nobody posted today. Listen, I, I sympathize because I know there are a lot of people out there that are just getting by. I myself, I, I say I live check by check. Um, but one of the things I do notice, and I, I kind of kind of like the idea that now Craigslist is charging, I post there certain ads that I'll post on um, the for sale. Um, and unfortunately... I have uh, I have like a, a fan that that I swear that person at one like a couple of months ago that person was like they were they were on Craigslist twenty four seven just waiting for me to post my ads and they were knocking my ads the quicker I was posting them the quicker they were knocking them off okay now mind you that particular person. I'm assuming they're they're offering services too, and they've posted a couple of things there about me over posting or whatever. And the funny thing is, there's a handful of people um, that were posting back to back, and the only reason I did it was to show that person because I'll say it again: a couple of months ago, I had somebody that was knocking my ads off. The minute I was posting, on my, mind you, you get uh, in the service. In the service, you only get to post three, three postings, and then that's it. You're you're you gotta wait until the next day or whatever. Um, but this person was trying to like, it was their way of trying to get me off, kick me off a of Craigslist, let's say. And yeah, they were knocking my ads off. I was posting. Uh, a shitload and they were knocking a shitload off then I turned around and I bought a program it was 60 bucks or whatever and that program gives you uh, it gives you the option of using a bunch of IP addresses and basically that program was being sold just so you're able to flag people which that that person probably I got to imagine that person had that same program, okay? There's a bunch of programs out there, but regardless, that person had that program um, and was knocking my ads off. But I bought that program to keep my ads from being flagged, where basically that program was clicking on um, the best of, okay? Um, and that... I guess Craigslist automated machine, whatever, however it works. Uh, when people were flagging my ads, all it's saying is that um, no, that ad uh, people like it, blase blase, and it was just stopping the ads from getting flagged. So that I noticed, 
in the for sale section, if you if you sell, I I sell I've sold cars. I was flipping cars at one time. Um, I I got a few things that I do, okay. And maybe there's a handful of people on Craigslist that are pissed off at me because I'm into like a handful of things. But hey, that's me. You know, there's no such thing as rules where you 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 can only be in one line of business or whatever. Um, listen, I'm out here. I'm a hustler. I'm out here. Whatever I feel that I can make a buck without hurting anybody, I'm in it. I'm in it to win it. Okay. It may sound corny, but that's the way I survived over all these years. Okay. And when I tell you again, I'm not trying to brag. I'm just trying to give people, um, like a breakdown, let's say, um, I went months, but you know, money was coming in, but after I paid the guys, after I paid the insurance, after I paid, I had a shop for, I don't know, I was paying a thousand a month for what, six years or whatever. Um, so after you pay all your overhead, that was basically nothing left. Okay. Where, where other people were like, uh, I, that's where where like I'm different than a lot of these guys that are out there doing what I do. A lot of them, the minute good money comes in, they just they're blowing it or they're just like uh, I'm not knocking anybody. I mean, you know, to each his own. Um, my way of doing business was uh, the money that was coming in, I would pay my overhead, and then instead of splurging on myself or whatever, I was throwing it right back into the business. Um, I, I bought a few used U-Haul trucks. Um, I bought a few used pickup trucks. I got a couple of, too many, um, not many vans, um, cargo vans or whatsoever. Over, over a period of time, instead of me splurging on myself or whatever, I was throwing it right back into the business or whatever. And that's, to me, that was the smart thing because that was paying my bills. Um, I bought two homes that all I got to do now is just worry about taxes um, and my utilities or whatsoever. But, you know, uh, my one fan that that I know he's pissed off, um, that person was going on there and flagging all my ads. Pissed off because I was posting a lot or period. I was posting on Craigslist. They don't like me. They're pissed off. Let's flag them off. I did what I had to do to stay on. Okay. My way of thinking Craigslist is for everybody. It's open to the public. You know, I do get annoyed at those people that are out there spamming, trying to get your email address or because I sell stuff and I get those goddamn stupid uh, texts and emails about um, email me at this email for or, for more info. And they're trying to get your email address. What they do with it, I don't know, and I really don't care because I just delete them. Now they now they text me, uh, email me for some more information on what you're selling, and I'm saying shit. The same way you text me to tell me about email, and you just ask me what what questions you need to know about the items I'm selling or whatever. Um, so anyway, that that's spam. That I say. You know, let's get that shit off of Craigslist. But and then you got people out there that feel, oh, well, this person is taking money out of my pocket or this person is offering better services or whatever. Let's flag them off. That's like little kid shit. You know, that's I, everybody has the right to make money. Everybody. You know, that's why I look at myself and I say, I bought that program I, you know, believe it or not, I bought that program. I never flagged nobody. I bought that program. Yes, it was a flagging tool, but I bought that program just to flag my own ads. But instead of flagging it off, was to, to flag it in a way of like clicking the best of. And that's what was keeping my ads on. And then that person couldn't flag me no more. So that that's basically was pissing off that person. You know, because at one point, yeah, they were knocking all my ads off. And then it, I sell stuff. So they wasn't just going after my ads on, on the services. They were going after my ads of the stuff that I was selling. So that to me just shows that it was more personal 
um, or whatever, whatever the case may be. But I notice when you pay for the ad, when you sell stuff under a dealer, they can't flag it. So that's why in my mind I'm saying, yes, unfortunately, now that the Craigslist is charging $5 to post an ad, yes, some people are going to be hurting, you know, but let's be realistic. If you're out there making money and Craigslist has helped you over the years, come on. If you got to spend a couple of dollars for a little ad that's going to put, you know, bring you business, you can't bitch about it. You know, you can't have your cake and eat it, too. Um, that's my opinion, okay? I can't bitch because Craigslist has been very good to me. So, yeah, $5. I spent 200 bucks today, but that was just to kind of piss somebody else off. Yeah. 200 bucks I could have spent it on a bill or groceries or whatever I spent it on Craigslist but my way of thinking like I say over the years Craigslist has been very good to me that no I'm not gonna bitch you know I mean I, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep posting you know I have maybe down the road I might start to hurt but I don't see it you know I mean because of Craigslist my phone rings daily Okay, my phone was ringing off the hook today because like I'm the only one on today. Nobody, all those people that were posting back to back postings, and I'm sure one or two or three or more were you know pissed off at me because of all the ads that I post or whatever. But they didn't see what was unless they were involved in it. They didn't see what I was going through of of some asshole there. Um, flagging all my ads until I bought that program then they couldn't they couldn't flag me no more but you know and we all know there's a lot of us out here that's have that that's have had that problem where we'll get somebody who feels that they don't like you for whatever reason and they have that program and they flag your ads but I notice now now that we're paying for the ads they can't flag the ads no more. So that's what I'm saying about there's a disadvantage and an advantage to this. The disadvantage is that it's going to cost money now to post an ad. But the advantage is now nobody, you know, whether they hate you or not, they can't flag your ad. Um, you know, I do feel for a, a lot of guys. I know a couple of people out there that that are hurting that they didn't post I, I, I noticed they didn't post their ads today and, and I know they're good people but again I mean not to stick up for Craig well yeah I gotta stick up for Craigslist they, they've they been very good so I mean you know they gotta make money too they got overhead as like, like we got overhead um, so again I know some people are gonna be pissed off at, at what I just said or whatever but I myself have no problem. It'd be nice maybe if they could knock it down to like a buck or two. So some people won't feel that, you know, that, that pinch or whatever. But I myself, I have, I'm not going to complain. Craigslist has been very good. Because of Craigslist, my business is good. So uh, this is my way of, you know, paying, paying forward to them, you know. Over all these years of it being free and now they, they're asking for money. I can't complain. I'm going to pay. Um, so I hope, I, I mean, I, I know there are, there are people out there hurting and they, they feel they can't afford the $5 every day. Uh, well, I just hope everybody is okay. Except for that asshole who, who who's out there flagging my ads. Fuck you. Foul language again, just for you. Fuck you you. All right. Everybody have a good night and be good.